Hey, welcome back. I'm about to head into Aldi and I have some company coming next week. So I want to plan out some freezer meals, slow cooker meals and things that I can make ahead of time and just throw in the freezer and then pull out when it's time to cook because I don't want to be spending a lot of time in the kitchen. So I don't really have a great plan. So hopefully you can give me some suggestions with the things that I'm buying and hopefully I can get things put together and I'll be sharing some recipes with you too in the next video. So let's get inside and get shopping. So my list today, I do have quite a few things that I want to get while they're on sale so let's get shopping so the first thing i want to get is eggs and milk eggs are $1.29 a dozen so i'll get a couple dozen eggs i already have two dozen at home so this should do next i'll get the organic milk i just need a half a gallon this week i do notice they already have eggnog i'm not sure what the price is but i'm really surprised to see this here already so go ahead and get some plain greek yogurt for $3.49 this is definitely a staple in my house i have to have it all the time Next, I'll get some orange juice for $3.19. And I'll pick up a container of cottage cheese for $2.45. I'm gonna get low fat this time because I'm not sure which my guests will like better or if they even eat cottage cheese. And I do need one pound of unsalted butter for $3.29. See, they have the pork sausage roll back in stock for $2.29, so I'm definitely gonna get one or two of those. Get two for good measure. I just picked up some chicken breasts for $1.87 a pound at Vaughn's, so I don't need it here at Aldi, but it is $2.49 a pound for the chicken breast and still $1.19 a pound for chicken leg quarters. I do need a five pound bag of all-purpose flour for $2.35. Haven't had a chance to try out that bread maker, so I'm planning on doing that this week. Plus, I need a bag of sugar for $3.09 too. Go ahead and get some fast rising instant yeast as well for 79 cents. I do want to look into getting a bunch of this at Costco. I heard it's a lot cheaper in the big jar. Now I'll get the two pound container here of spaghetti for $1.99. Spaghetti is always easy for guests for me, so I'm gonna probably do that one night. A lot of times I make my own sauce with my homegrown tomatoes, but because I'm kind of pressed on time this week, I think I'm just gonna get the organic marinara or tomato basil, or maybe even the Priano here for $2.19. They're both $2.19. These ones are a little bit bigger at 24 ounces, and these ones are 23.5, so not a big difference, $2.19. And just so you know, these are like mason jars, and I like these ones too because they do have the measurements. If you take the labels off, they have the measurements. You can see it goes all the way to two and a quarter cup here. So I actually use these afterwards, um, you know, for measuring instead of buying more measuring cups in my kitchen. So that's a little tip for you. Let's get the tomato basil today. And I'll also get this one because I really love the jar and I'd like to have one more of these jars. Next, I'll get two pounds of black beans for $2.69. And four pounds of dried pinto beans for $3.69. Once I make these, they freeze really well in you know two cup portions, which is about a can, and I get way, way more for my money. That's why I do the dried beans now. Then I'll get the taco shells here for $1.55. It's a really great deal. You get 12 crunchy tacos. They also have a crunchy or soft taco dinner kit for $2.49 as well. A lot of times if I'm doing a budget meal plan, I'll get some of the taco seasoning mix, but honestly, I have all of the seasonings at home that I can just throw together. I'm gonna show you the recipe for that too, just how to make taco seasoning at home, because it's actually a little bit more budget friendly. So I'm gonna show you that in just a little while. Next, I'll get some garlic powder for 99 cents. This is 3.12 ounces. And the one over here is 1.5 ounces, and this one's 89 cents. So this is definitely the better deal in this packaging. I'm going to get some cheese snacks too. It looks like the Baby Bell cheese are $3.09, so we'll definitely get some of those today. And we really like these cheese snacks. They're gourmet snacking cheese for $3.45. We like the uh, Gouda and the Habanero Jack. They're both really good. Really quick. I want to let you guys know they do have the awesome pot which is good in the oven up to 450 degrees this is essentially a D dutch oven and you can make you know that no need bread that i've shared before in this and it's 29.99 it's six and a half quarts and so it's nice and large great for chilies or you know cooking in the oven a casserole or something like that so that's really awesome um, it says the awesome pot body is oven safe to 450 so i'm not sure about the lid so that's something to look into um, but i am going to try this out at home it's 29.99 so it's a great price and we're going to see how it goes next i'm going to get some of these elevation bars they're three dollars and 79 cents and you get four bars they're really delicious though and very few ingredients which i like I'm planning to do a couple of pot pies as freezer meals. So I'm gonna get a couple of these pie crusts. They're $2.49 and they freeze really well too. So I can always just thaw them out when I'm ready. 
Their granola is a really great price at $2.29, and this is for a 14 ounce container. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the oats, honey, and almonds this week. It goes great on the Greek yogurt. It's really fast, easy, and filling breakfast, so my family loves these. I also love to get some boxes of cereal, especially when guests come for myself and for them if they wanna have something fast. I really like these, um, the honey crunch and oats with almonds. Those are $2.75. The raisin brand is really good too, and that one's $2.15. Haven't tried a whole lot of the other ones, but they do have like crispy oats, which is kind of like Cheerios. They have this regular box for $1.69, and then the family size and the honey nut for $2.75. So great prices on cereal. Looks like they do have black beans on sale for 77 cents a can right now. That's a really great deal. And I see the large can of pinto beans is $1.49. So we do have some good options. I have a lot of frozen tomatoes in my freezer that I can just use. So I'm not gonna be getting canned tomatoes, I don't think. Um, although things may change next week before they arrive when I wanna actually cook some things. I'm also gonna get another box of these Juicy Bursts. We tried these last week. They're really good. They're $7, but they're really delicious and they're great for my kids' snacks for school. And on the Aldi Savers, they have these mandarin oranges for $2.49, baby carrots are $0.79 cents each, mushrooms are $1.49, and zucchini are $1.29 a pound. I'm going to go ahead and grab a bag of the mandarin oranges for $2.49 today. So I'm going to get two bags of these baby carrots. Wow. Next, I'll get some blackberries. These are $2.67. Avocados are only 59 cents each, and I have no idea what I'm cooking for dinner this week either, so I'm going to get a couple of avocados. These look and feel really good. Their 16-inch pizzas are on sale right now for $5.99 for the pepperoni and $4.99 for the cheese. So for a fast meal this week, I'm definitely going to be getting one of these. My daughter requested mango, so I'm going to see if any of these are ripe. They're 99 cents each. Not quite ready, but we're just going to leave it on the counter for a few days. Next, I'll get one container of grape tomatoes. They're on sale for $1.99. I have a ton of carrots at home, so I think I'm gonna get some celery for $1.69 because they seem to go hand in hand. I'm gonna be making my own bread this week and kind of testing things out, but in the meantime, I'm gonna get this buttermilk bread. We really like it, it's $2.39. My kids adore the chips, and I don't normally get them because they're really expensive, but they're on sale right now for $5.43, or at least uh, that's what it said in the ad. It doesn't have a special tag on it or anything, but we're gonna go ahead and get one as a treat. Salsa's on sale for $1.79, so I'm gonna get some of this too. I use salsa in a lot of recipes, especially fast recipes, because it adds flavor, and you've got the tomatoes and the hot peppers and all that jazz, so I love to have it on hand for all kinds of different uses. I'm gonna splurge on some Oreos today for $5.49 for this party size. I love to have some sort of nuggets on hand. I know it's kind of a cheat. Um, these are $7.59, I'm gonna get these today. Um, it's a great, easy meal. I, sometimes I cheat and do this sort of thing for dinner. My son's request today was more of these soft pretzels. They are spendy at $4.79, but they're not going to be here forever. Hopefully they go on sale soon though. Next I'm going to get a couple of bags of steamed veggies. I don't actually steam them in the bag, um, but these are $0.87 cents for the mixed veggies. I'm going to do that and then maybe some of the other kinds as well. Some frozen corn for $1.15. And I think I'm going to go ahead and make my life easy and have some tater tots and hash browns on hand too. To make my pot pies, I like to use the deep dish pie crust here. This is $2.19 and you get two. And then I top them with the crust that we already got over there. And so this is uh, what I just love to do. Um, grab these and they're so inexpensive and it's kind of a cheat also. You could make it yourself as well. Okay, my cart is ridiculously full. So let's go see what we're paying for all this. It's a very, very spendy trip. A lot of stuff today. $143.82 is our total.